Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how I set up control over my Panasonic projector using QLab um, with the assistance of Stream Deck Companion or BitFocus Companion. Um, I saw a lot of tutorials online um, doing this with scripting um, and other things in QLab and it seemed overly complicated to me, something I didn't want to deal with and it seemed like there was a much simpler way so this is kind of what I came up with. Um, so first off we're going to be using QLab and BitFocus Companion like I had mentioned. Um, I'd, I'd like to make something clear, um, you do not need a Stream Deck to run BitFocus Companion. Um, you can still control things using just the software with no physical surface attached to it. Um, and it's very helpful. So those are the two things we're going to be using. Um, I'm going to start out in BitFocus Companion and we're going to add an instance. Um, an instance is anything that you know you control from the software. And so in this case we're going to add Panasonic Projector. I just searched it um, and I'm going to click Add. Now, under the projector configuration tab here, um, you can go ahead and label it. I'm going to label mine um, main projector. And then you're going to want to put your projector's IP and your projector's control port. Um, these can both be found in the network setup tab of the projector's menu. Um, I'm going to leave it blank right now because I do not have my projector actually connected on this network. But once I did that, I would click Apply Changes. Um, under here to make sure that it was working, uh, you could see status and it would be green saying OK. Uh, next I'm going to go to buttons. Um, I'm going to make two simple buttons by clicking here and clicking set button type regular button. I'm going to call this one shutter on and I'm going to call this next one shutter off. Now under the shutter on uh, button on my key down on actions I'm going to find under main projector we're gonna look for turn the projector shutter on off which is exactly what we want and this is the shutter on so under mode I'm gonna make it on I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the shutter off except I'm going to make the mode off and it's that simple um, so that's kind of it for the button configuration and setup of companion one more thing we need to note is if over here in settings um, it will actually tell you down here a little key for OSC remote control and this is what we're going to be using um, in QLab all right now we're gonna go into QLab and first we're gonna configure it so that it works so we're gonna go in the settings here and we're gonna go to our network tab and under our patch one we're gonna configure it to work with Stream Deck Companion so I'm gonna label it Companion um, under destination local host is fine because Stream Deck is running Stream Deck Companion is running on our local machine um, if it was running on say another machine we would want to make the destination that machines IP um, under the control port, this is important, so here under OSC remote control you can see uh, you can send OSC commands to port 12321. So what we're going to want to do in QLab is we're going to want to change this port to be 12321. And that should be it. So now in QLab we're going to go ahead and add a network queue. Um, and I'm going to go to basics and name it shutter on. And under this um, network queue, we're going to go to settings, and we're going to make sure our destination is on companion. We're going to say OSC message, and we're going to start typing it out. Now you can see over here, um, it will give you, you know, different commands that you can send. So for example, slash press, slash bank, page, bank. Um, and what this does is it press and releases a button, run both the up and down actions. So that's exactly what we want. So we're going to type it out here. I'm going to type slash press, slash bank, slash one slash two um, and this is basically saying press bank one button two um, and if we go back here to our buttons you can see that the shutter on button is sitting on bank one button two um, so that should be good and now what we're going to do is command C, command V, this command, uh, or Q, sorry, and we're going to name it shutter off. I'm going to give it a number. And then under settings here, we're going to change this to be buying one button three. 
And now these two should talk to Companion the way we expect it to. So now that we have the buttons configured, uh, we want to test and make sure they work. So one way you can do that is you can launch the Web Buttons tab by clicking this button, and it will actually give you a virtual stream deck here, and it has these two buttons with visual feedback. Um, so what we want to do is when a button is pressed, the top of it will actually light up yellow. So if we were to click go on this cue, you can actually see that the uh, you can see that the button goes yellow. Um, sometimes it doesn't show up because it's going so quickly, which is what happened when I pressed go there. But you can see um, it does press it every now and then. Um, yeah, so that means that the button is functioning, and if you set up your projector correctly, um, it should go ahead and trigger the projector to shutter on and off. Um, that is how I set it up using QLab and Companion. Hopefully this helped someone out there. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.